There we go, first cast of the day on the St. Lawrence. Will the fish cooperate? Everybody get funky and chunky with a monkey. <laughs> Let's go. Nice fish. It is a nice fish. Oh yeah. Definitely a call. <laughs> yeah, this is gonna be a call for sure. Yes, yeah, so that's sir. a nice one. Good job. Let's go. Catching too many fish. Don't have time to do the intro. You never know where the little buggers are gonna be hanging out. Whoa! Oh, 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 did you see that? That was a big sturgeon jump. That was cool. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to a new episode of Damage Shard Fishing. We're out here on the St. Lawrence, and I am here with Mr. Guillaume, who's up in the front of the boat fishing away. Uh, we've actually already been out here for a couple of hours now, actually, and uh, we've loaded the boat with smallies. We were just having so much fun and kind of forgot to record while we were recording with this, but we didn't even record the intro. So we are cruising around looking for the biggest smallies possible, having some fun, making jokes that we can't show you on camera, <laughs> and uh, stick around and uh, we'll talk about how we're catching these fish and uh, what I'm doing because uh, this is my favorite area to fish even though it is a little complicated to fish and for those of you that are new to the channel you uh, probably haven't heard me talking about using current and that sort of thing to your advantage so that is what I'm going to show you guys today and uh, yeah so that's it so stick around I hope you enjoy today's video all right so let's get back to fishing. Gil what are you doing over there? You having fun? I'm trying to catch a fish. Why aren't you catching anything yet? We did the whole intro you had the whole intro to catch a fish. I mean I've caught a lot today Look at the live well, I'm pretty sure all the live well calls are mine. Just uh -huh. FYI. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, let's go. You didn't bring me any Tom Timmy's. What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm gonna try a couple of throws with this just to see. Feed? Watch me lose it. <laughs> I got I got me some crisps. They're chips that taste like crackers. Uh, they're chips that taste like pretzels. Try them. Do that to your girlfriend too. <laughs> oh, I'm on big. There you go. Yeah. Uh, well, it's give me a walleye, Really? Oh, it is a walleye. Yeah, it is. All right, there you go. There you go. That's a keeper. There you go. Another walleye. Small <laughs> walleye. Yeah, yeah, little one. <laughs> Keep going. Get off of there. Yeah, I'm going to try another spot. Okay. Well, we would have got we would have we would have got a bass by now. I'm just trying to work all this, then I'm going to throw into that channel. There you go. You're welcome. Oh, no. What? You're a dork. I got, I got, what? What's happening? Oh, he's following, he's following. I take you to where the fish are, and you're just screwing That's around. A big like, fish. Bro. Yeah, well, congratulations for on catching it. Not a good sign here, buddy. Nice. Good stuff. What you got there? Ooh. All right, we found one. Oh, found rocks. Nice. There we go. He's in the motor. There we go. All right, we're starting to find him. Water's like super clean today, which is always nice. There you go, guys, little dude. So, guys, what we're doing here, and what I keep preaching on the St. Lawrence, 
is we're using the current to our advantage. So we locate the fish, we come upstream of the fish, and we cast away from them and let the current bring the line, bring the bait to the fish. The biggest mistake people do when fishing the St. Lawrence is they fight the current. But there's no reason to do that. Use the current. So instead of retrieving your line, let the current bring the line to you. That's really the key. Today we're dealing with a bit more wind, so the boat is kind of positioned funny. Uh, as opposed to fighting the current, we're actually against the wind. But I'm still casting up current so that the current brings it back towards me. And that's just going to give the bait all the movement that you need. You don't really have to do anything. I keep popping a little bit just to keep my weight from getting stuck in the rocks, but use the current to your advantage. That is key. You need like a 40 foot boat. <laughs> that's a snake. It is. Watch. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Why is there a snake in the water? That's messed up. What's happening? Man, he's in some nasty waves too. Poor snake. Look at how he crossed, dude. That's crazy. That is nuts. Guys, there's a snake in the water right there. I don't know what that's all about. We got snakes just cruising around. What is happening? Is this what it's like in Florida? There's just snakes randomly swimming around? <laughs> I have never seen that before. I've seen it, but not in like this large. Place. I don't know, but if he could just keep going that way. Yeah, we're going to move on out of here. Oh. Body checks him into the water. My bad. There you go. There's a surprise one. Nice. Wow. All right, we're back for more. Is it still on or no? No, it's off. But I was pensing. Are you? Yeah. So why am I moving up? There you go. Oh, color on that fish, Beautiful right? colors, yeah, really nice. There you go. Whoop. Oh, my weight's good. Very nice, very nice. Guillaume, you having fun? Yes, sir. That's Those a nice fish. Colors, man. Very nice, very nice. Look at fish. that. Beautiful. Oh, well, we can't really, I don't know if we can see it too well, but nice fish. Yep, we're going to throw them back. Bye bye. Biggin. Oh yeah? Biggin, biggin. Nice. Oh. I don't know. If it's, I don't know. Watch the trolling motor. It's swinging. Oh, it's, it's decent. It's decent. Definitely. Oh, just watch. Keep. Just watch the trolling yeah. motor. Definitely a big fish. That's it. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> there you go. Oh, got him. There you go. They fight so hard, it's like it's hard to judge right at first. You don't know if you got a tank or you got a little mini on. It's crazy. They just they fight so wicked hard. <laughs> wow, that's a boogin. That's a nice turdy out there. What's up, sports fans? Well, we are gonna start moving out. So the afternoon is here, the wind has completely died, even though it was supposed to be bad, but the wind has died down a lot, the bite has died down. Uh, most of the spots that we usually fish are pretty cooked and now we have, I don't know if you can see behind us, there are just boats, boats big cruisers coming in left, right and center. Behind me there are tons back there and we're getting rocked like we actually had waves almost come over the, uh, over the bow two seconds ago. Dude, oh my god. Yeah, we're, uh, we're going to move on and see if we can find some more fish. Um, we're going to try some newer areas and we're just going to scan around and look for them. So, you know, if I don't see any fish, we're not going to, we're not going to bother. And as always, we're going to just evaluate the current and use the current to our advantage. And that's all we can do. So use the, use the current to move our baits in an intelligent way and, uh, see if we can find us some more bass or some, I don't know, some walleye or something. Something that bites. Something that bites. Uh, let's go. All right. Let's see if there's anything out on here, shall we? I'm on. Oh, he hit it so hard. I'm on. Nice. Nice. That's a good fish. Fuck, that's so black. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. Oh, uh, and I'm stuck it on this. It came off, it came off, it came off. Ugh. There's another one following it too. I told you they're in here, bro. I told you, they hang out in this flat and they feed on these flats. I'm on. 
get them this time. There you go. Damn. No way, dude. Okay, I'm gonna fish. I'm just gonna leave this here, and if you need the net, it's right here. It might be just rocks. Oh my god. Dude. Oh, I'm on. Oh! There's like four of them there. So much fish. What the fudge? I just got hit again. Okay, wait a minute. Ned rig time. Ned rig. Oh my god. Holy jeez. Oh. There's one following him. You should throw it after him. Here, go, go, go. Here, here. Oh my god. No, no, no net him, net him, net him. No way, dude. I'm ready. He's, he's a nice fish, huh? Uh, he's super nice. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Dude. Okay. Let's go. Oh my god. No, get out of there. Get out of the motor. Get out of the motor. No! No, it popped you off. That know. fish was giant, yeah, dude. Was a good fish. No way did he how did he pop off of this? Jeez. That, that was probably the biggest one of the day right there. Oh, yeah, that was a big one. That's not good. Okay. There we go. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, my. Oh. Oh! Oh my god. <laughs> that was crazy. Freeze, my oh my god. <laughs> Why are they popping off so easy though? That's crazy. Wow. Wow, that big huge one that I had before, that thing was giant. That thing was giant. Guys, so we moved to a totally different section in a place that I theoretically know should hold fish. And today, Guess what? It's holding fish. Crazy. <laughs> but we've lost four of them. Yeah. That's disgusting. Good. There's another one. Oh, not as big as that other guy who was a monster. Watch out. There you go. There you go. Thank you. Wow. Jeez. Once again, right at the boat. So guys, what's happening here is we're surrounded by weeds and clumps and rocks and all kinds of stuff. And in the middle of it all, there's just this random clearing and the fish hang out in the clearing. So that's it. We're just sitting here pounding away on the fish that are cruising. So I'm using a Ned Rig and a drop shot. I'm actually going to go back to the Ned Rig right now. You might maybe be, oh yes, nice, nice, nice. Big, big fish? There's one over there hanging out with him, isn't there? Bring your fish in. <laughs> oh, look out. Very nice. There's Guillaume with another one. If he can take his hook out. Look at that. There you go. Very nice. Bye bye. Yeah, but it was a horrible hook set. Of course. There oh my God, that was big, dude. I told you it was a horrible hook set. I don't think. Calm down. It was monster, bro. I knew it. I knew as soon as he, as soon as I hooked him, like that hook set was absolute garbage. Oh my God! What? What? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> What's happening? Are they back on again? Yeah, what? I guess. Oh, damn! It's a walleye. Oh, it's a walleye. We got a Walter. We're gonna find out in a minute. Long and slim though. It felt so big that it can't. Like, like it, this is what I'm saying. Little, little. Or, sure? or coming right sure? at the boat. Oh, oh no! Oh. I don't understand it. It's like, I, I gotta check this hook. Is this hook not, <laughs> not sharp? What is happening? I've never had so many fish come off. Oh, dude, this is so big. Oh, dude! How are they pulling these things? I don't know, man. Try something fun. No, it's some kind of a swim bait thingy. I'm not even really entirely sure. Is that how that goes? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Let's try it like that. If that doesn't look, that doesn't work, it's upside down. It's just kind of spinning, <laughs> I think. It's not vibrating or nothing? I don't know what it's doing. I'm not entirely certain. All right, guys, I don't know what this thing is for Mystery Tackle Box, but it sucks. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's on here right. <laughs> but it's gar <laughs> This thing is crap. Out there's some big old juicy weeds, man. Eh? 
Oh, I'm on. Are you serious? I'm on. Hold on a second. Oh, a pike. Nice pike. Dude. Oh, he's got a big chunk taken out. Wow, nice pike. We got a pike to join the party. Oh, Check that out. He's got a big chunk taken out of him, too. Gushing, buddy. You are gushing. Did that take long? Check that out, guys. Big old pike with a lamp. Here, you know what? Let me get in close here. You can see this. <coughs> Check that out. He's got a big chunk missing out the side of him. Look at that. That was nasty. Anyway. All right, buddy. See ya. Then he's off. And I'm all slammy. All right, let's see. Hold them out. They look small. One, two, three. Dan Richard. <laughs> guys, help. All right, guys. That's it. We're done. We have been out here. We, we've been screwing around out for, what, like 12 hours <laughs> trying to get this done. Anyway. <laughs> wow. So what did you think of today? It's fun. It was fun. That morning bite definitely was better. We uh, came out. There was like kind of a cloudy, windy... And it wasn't even that windy. Not but what still, they said. Like that, that wind was chopping, so you could definitely uh, see it. But, but they were they were predicting better. winds that were going to make like render the St. Lawrence unusable. And, that, and there's a ton of boats out here. And that was a lie. Yeah, exactly. At one point, the wind totally died. Anyway, yeah. it ended up it's being cooking. a gorgeous day. Yeah, it's, it's, cooking. it's cooking for sure. So it is uh, currently 5:20. So we're going to get out of here, and uh, and that's it. So key today was really um, drop shot with the saucy swimmers and the electric yeah. shad color, uh, the Ned rig, peanut butter and jelly, uh, a couple of spinner baits. We had some spinner bait bites going on. That sandbar was crazy. Uh, yeah, yeah. The spot there was nice. Spinner bait. Um, everything was pretty shallow, between five to like eight feet. So it was a, it was a shallow day. But uh, this area is definitely starting to warm up for uh, for the fall bite. They're, they're definitely starting to move in. No, no giants, but the numbers are starting to show up, so pretty exciting stuff. Even yeah, the small ones are getting pretty chunky, and they're, they're getting a belly, so. Yeah, and they're strong. Oh, Guys, they're so strong. Like, it, the fish bite here, like, they're like five pounders on a lake. It's just insane. <laughs> Anyways, all right, guys, so that's it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Sir. All right, and we'll see you guys on the next episode. Thanks a lot for watching. See ya. Let's go. Peace.